Hi everyone, I'm Sue and welcome to our training video for the month. So today we're going to cover our low V, which is one of our basic positions. It can be used as a standalone exercise or it can be used in conjunction with some other exercise to add on and make it a power exercise. So the setup is the most important. You're going to stand about a half an arm distance away from the bar. We're going to start with our legs together and our feet together. From here we just open up our feet so we make a nice small piece of pie with our feet and then we lift the heels keeping them glued together so they're only off the ground just one inch and the most important thing is having those heels glued together because that's going to activate our inner thighs so from there you're going to slide down and get nice and comfortable make sure your abs are engaged so you have a slight tuck of your hips and start pulsing down and down you should really feel resistance here making sure that the movements are small no more than an inch down and up and not moving too much because you want to resist and resist. So you can stay here for your basic count of eight or 10. And from there, you can add in all of our basic moves like our tucks, go right hip, left hip, go side to side. Being a little sassy here, you can also speed this up and take it down and up. Having some fun with your ladies. You can also circle left and you can circle right. Then to go a bit further, you want to start to pulse down lower, coming to your halfway mark. This is where the burn is really going to start and the shaking is really going to start. So you can pulse here for about eight counts. And then if you want, you can hold it just for four counts, take it all the way down, giving everyone a quick break. They'll definitely appreciate that. Now using your inner thighs and keeping those heels glued together, come halfway up and down. This is really going to activate those inner thighs. It's really going to get that shake going. After you do this a couple of times, hold it halfway and then give them another quick break. Now keeping the heels glued together, that's the most important thing, it's going to activate those inner thighs, you're going to use your abs and come halfway up and then down. So we glide up and down, super slow here, really getting those legs to burn and shake. After you do this a couple of times, you want to come halfway and hold just four more seconds and then come all the way down, giving your clients another break. Then to get some more cardio, next time we're going to come all the way up and down. So full range of motion here. You can go a little bit faster than I am and down eight times up and down. From there, after you do those eight, you want to come halfway down and end with your grand finale right here, eight little pulses. And then for an added bonus, if you want, you can lift your right arm, your left arm, hold, sink low, and right there, everyone should be shaking, 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 and come all the way up, and then you're done. Whew, were those legs burning or what? Your clients are gonna love that one. Most important thing, make sure you stretch right after you do this exercise. So stay tuned because in the next couple of months, we're also gonna show you some different exercises that you can do with this basic foundation low V move. So you can use this exercise as a standalone movement or you can put it together with some other movements and make it a superset to really get that burn going. So don't forget to tune in next time.